Yo, what is up squad? It's your boy Pino E here. Now before we get started, you might hear some new music in the background and that's from my dude IMJ5 who's been supporting me since I started doing my thing. His new track comes out in 4 days. I'm gonna link to his IG page in the description below. So squad up and give him a follow and now let's go. Not a whole lot went down today, but we're going to start off with only one piece of news for Adidas, and it's a look at the Adidas Climacool 0217, coming in black and white. Yesterday, I said I hate the Climacool, and I still do, nothing's changed there, but I will admit this new updated version isn't that bad. Anyway, this pair drops August 10th at select Adidas Originals retailers. Over to Nike, and first up, let's start with the official images of the Nike Special Field Air Force One Mid Hazel. For this pair, Nike chose to go with a black tumbled leather upper with matching black ballistic nylon and a black strap sitting on a hazel colored mid. Finishing this one off is the dual zipper on the heel for easy entry. The pair drops in Asia on July 26th for $160 and should be releasing shortly after globally. And next up, just earlier today, Nike Basketball unveiled the Hyperdunk Low 2017 City Series. In total, there's six pairs in this collection which are inspired by basketball's global capitals. In order that they appear on screen, the cities represented in this pack are New York, No Bueno, Beijing, Trashola, Philippines, Garbage, Madrid, Bullshit. Get it? Madrid has bullfights, so bullshit? Yeah, yeah, anyway. LA, they're decent, and Chicago, which are pretty dope. I love the graffiti. The Beijing pair releases August 1st, Chicago August 2nd, LA August 3rd, and the remaining pairs will drop sometime in August. Lots of junk here, but a couple cool colorways. And last up for Nike, and guys, I'm torn on this one. You all know I love the Air Max 97, and you all know I hate when Adidas drops 15 pairs in a day. And it looks like Nike took a page out of the Adidas book, because we have 13 pairs of the Air Max 97 releasing in the month of August. I kind of get why they're doing it. It is the Silhouette's 20 year anniversary, but still. Let's take a look at how these are spread out throughout the month. The shit show starts on August 1st when two pairs of the Nike Air Max OG 97 release coming in a black and white and almost triple white colorway. Pricing wasn't unveiled, but these should be the same prices that we saw with the previous drops. August 1st for these two on sneakers and Nike.com. The next batch comes on August 4th when three pairs of the Air Max 97 OG Premium drop. And this first pair up on screen is amazing. Two pairs come with suede overlays and the third in a leather snakeskin stamped overlay with 3M reflective materials and mesh. That first pair though, sheesh. Same thing, sneakers app and Nike.com and no word on the premium pricing. The next eight pairs to release are the Air Max 97 Ultra. The Ultra lineup of shoes have all been about reducing the shoe's weight and improving comfortability. Reducing weight is achieved by constructing the shoe as a single layer upper with 3M overlays, and the comfort is addressed with a new air sole PSI level. Once again, we don't yet have a price for this new model, but all the pairs drop on August 5th on the North American Sneakers app, which will be followed by a global release on August 17th. I can't really say I'm a fan of this new silhouette, but that silver bullet colorway does look dope so yeah these are the august lineup and they're not done with the silhouette yet so stay tuned over to jordan brand next and let's start with a new look at the air jordan 8 bread we only have one image to look at and there really isn't much to say at this time but for those of you who have these on your radar they drop september 16th for 190 dollars a few days ago, you might remember I shared a line sheet with you all, and I mentioned that there will be an Air Jordan 5 Premium Airis dropping, and blow, here you go. If you ask me my opinion, this is what the men's camel pair should have looked like, and we could call this a win for Team Small Feet. I'm not too sure how to explain this shoe. The upper comes in almost an iridescent coppery color with camel undertones throughout, and they're dope. The pair drops September 16th in extended grade school sizes for $160. And last up for today, we have new images of the Air Jordan 6 Gatorade. I'm not going to show you all the Gatorade commercial again that inspired these, and my thoughts, they're trash. But I have to buy them for collection purposes since this is a Gatorade approved collab. The coolest thing about this shoe to me, and I'll tell you how Jordan Brand convinced me to buy this pair, they made the stupid ass lace lock look like a Gatorade bottle. You got me Jordan Brand, you played me like a fiddle. 190 is the retail price, and there still isn't a release date, but you can expect them sometime in October. And that does it for today's video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you have something to say, leave it in the comments below, and I'm out.